Hi, this is a test video here. It says I have less than 9% free space left on this uh, Illumini cool pad, which I like the good things about it, but this model um, had some issues when I was using a 220 volt uh, outlet to charge it. It actually stopped charging. And surprisingly, the battery that fits in here, which I think is a 3.7 volt, like a uh, flat, it looks like a a cracker <laughs> like the size of like a, a saltine cracker um uh actually fits and charges in my motorola e phone which um, i would use it directly but it charges really slow it even has a message saying that it should be charged with the original charger or this battery will be pulled will charge slow but uh <clears throat> Uh, for some reason, the Wi-Fi on that one doesn't work, which is weird. I can still log into my router and look at the settings, even change settings, but I can't, like any Wi-Fi doesn't connect all the way. So I'm not sure what, um, what hardware code is coming up because I can't see that. I wish there was some clear diagnostic tool that would show us what the heck's wrong so we could fix it quickly because everybody knows it's a pain. It takes way too long. It's too expensive to send it to Pex. We sometimes make it worse like when they reset the whole phone and lose all your crap. And then none of us can back it up <laughs> quickly enough. Uh, every single time, at least. You know, and then we all miss a backup. And then there's like always a file or two that we're trying to trying to find. Um. So, yeah, I'm just testing this camera out, seeing if it's working. So the weird thing is I have to charge another phone, take the battery out. But the battery, like, fits really tight, and all, it almost snaps. So I'm afraid I'm going to, like, break that phone. All phones are so fragile nowadays, and I'm hoping that they get to producing uh, stronger phones made of more iron. You know, something like the Golden Gate Bridge is made out of. It doesn't rust. It can stand in the ocean. You know, it's waterproof, fireproof. I can sit on it. It won't break. I had uh, at least one phone break that way. Uh, it was an accident. I didn't have my shirt. didn't have a pocket. I could put it in on my shirt. That's where I usually put it. I put it in my back pocket. And I forgot it was there, and I sat down. But anyways, um, yeah, so... That's my little story here. We'll just upload it to johnproblems.com. So if you're on YouTube, please subscribe and like. And if you want me to subscribe to your channel, even in the future, just put it in the comments. Or make a video putting my name on there. Um, my like pen name is John Problems, but my birth name is An Kim Fong. So, uh, so check that out. So thanks to everybody. I hope everybody has eternal life. And find where the hell is that planet with eternal life. So I really believe it's like a cluster of planets in the galaxy. And we're all trying to find it. And then we got to come back to this planet to help like the generation that's going to be living here. The generations to extend their life. So, <clears throat> so if you ever watched the Star Trek story, you know, you, you find out there's planets who live longer. And then if you read the Bible, there's people who used to live like a thousand years. And then if you go into the Avenger story, there's people who have eternal life. You know, the immortals, right? They all have weaknesses still, so they probably still need some pharmaceutical products once in a while. <laughs> but I prefer doing things organically. Like, you'd be surprised how fresh rainwater and, like, enough air filters and enough fresh trees in your house and uh, and uh, good uh, home cooked meals every day can uh, and having the most fun you can possibly have in any situation you're given. You know, we often underappreciate what we still have, so and we always want something new, and new which is a little bit greedy. <laughs> Even though that's pretty much how all our media is. Like we were shown like the president in like a rented house and we never show him just in his regular house. You know, I just want to see like the president eating a sandwich 
with his wife or something. <laughs> Making a sandwich, like something normal. You know, getting sick of the all fancy exterior work presentation. He, he, he doesn't even write his own speeches, so it doesn't seem like he's really talking. And if you listen to the same speech from like a dozen presidents, it sounds like it's the same standard speech. And the same thing with every other leader. You know, clergy, teachers, you know. And I, I kind of miss and really value that heart-to-heart, -heart, like straight-to-the-point talk. So, especially for people that are from poor families, being able to make your own money, literally with your own hand, like writing out money. Money is just a piece of paper with a number on it and some words and some weird crap on there, like art and a, a head bust and not even the full name of the president. I remember I could have sworn money before I had the full name of the president, like Abraham Lincoln. But now I look on my money, I just see Lincoln. <laughs> And then there's some scribble of a U.S. Secretary of Treasury, which I can't read. It looks like a doctor, doctor's prescription. So it's it's all. And then in other countries, it's worse. They don't even have names of leaders on it. Have you ever seen, like, Asian money? <clears throat> you know, a lot of Asian countries, like Vietnam, doesn't have the name of the leader on it. And, and I'm going to try to add that to some of my videos so you can see that. I'm hoping I can make, like, a PowerPoint presentation on the side of these. Um, I can do it on my laptop, but unfortunately it's, it's down and it, it's had, uh, this is the second time, uh, the internal fan isn't working right. And so it automatically shuts down to protect itself. It seems like, so I had to replace that fan myself. So I love the computer because it's, it's lightweight. It's, uh, you know, it's a new i5 processor and it has a 500 gigabyte hard drive which is the biggest i've ever had so it's real nice to have that larger size you know i know people own like servers somebody has like a freaking 100 terabyte cube now i've seen in research and you know like like that's pretty much the entire internet <laughs> in like one thing and that's amazing and that'll be cool to have when i'm older but uh, i still appreciate kind of the the, the best tech of the past because it has some uh, advantages, especially metallic uh, magnetic hard drives versus the solid state, which I feel like it's just a plastic chip that's not very durable and then it'll crack and crumble because I've had that happen to, like if you see my plastic case in my phone, it's, it's only like, I think only three years old, it's already crumbled. So uh, kind of uh, concerned, and I've heard that it happens. I read it to some SD cards. Like after a few years, it would just stop working. So since the warranty for most of those cards are less than a year. <laughs> now the same thing is true with uh, magnetic um, hard drives or hard disk drives, but like the desktop ones are are made out of a thicker metal, and they seem to last. I still believe they still last longer, and they're cheaper. Plus, they, they work in all the old computers, and you can still use it with, like, Windows XP and stuff, which is still a very good operating system. I wish I had a, a desktop dedicated to that so I could run uh, some of the applications I used to run on there. So that's my little, like, spiel about that. All right. Take care, everybody. Oh, and it's uh, the second day of uh, 2021. So Happy New Year to everybody. All right. Bye.